Dave Oldham with Kiss for Breathers. A lot of people ask us, uh, what does a rebreather do? Especially recreational divers are interested in rebreathers and uh, want to know what they do. Uh, the way I like to describe it is that a rebreather does kind of just the opposite of what we do. We, when we inhale, we take in oxygen and we give off carbon dioxide. What the rebreather does is it absorbs the carbon dioxide and then adds oxygen back into that gas. And then we rebreathe, we rebreathe that gas. So in a nutshell, that's what our rebreather is doing for us. At uh, KISS, we have two different versions of uh, a recreational rebreather and a technical rebreather. And we're gonna show those to you today. Uh, this is our GEM rebreather, it's a recreational rebreather. It's designed for uh, new divers. Uh, pretty much it only requires a nitrox certification and actually that can be included as part of the class. What the, how the rebreather works is it straps a, we strap a scrubber on the side of your canister or the side of your tank. The scrubber contains a material which absorbs the carbon dioxide out of your breath, okay? The, the scrubber is connected through hoses to our mouthpiece. In the mouthpiece is a mechanical valve that causes one third of your breath to be expelled out into the water column and two thirds of your breath into the rebreather. The two thirds of your breath are sent through the scrubber where the carbon dioxide is removed. And then the, to make up the volume, this second stage here adds that one third back in when you inhale. Okay, so basically if we take our tank now, we're only using one third as much gas with each breath, so it lasts three times longer. So this rebreather is very simple, very easy to use. You know that if you're getting a full breath and you're seeing bubbles, it's working properly. It also has an oxygen sensor that shows you exactly what partial pressure of oxygen you're breathing. This is just like your anal uh, nitrox analyzer back at your shop. Okay, some advantages of this, this unit are it's very light for travel. It comes with a uh, BCD, the canister, it's your tank and your regulator, but uh, obviously you don't travel with the tank. The BCD and the rest of the unit for travel is 19 pounds. Okay, very light, very easy to fit into a carry-on bag. I usually can fit my wetsuit and uh, my mask in the same carry-on. Okay, uh, it is, uh, because it's so simple, it's very easy to dive. Again, it only requires a nitrox certification uh, to dive. It is uh, light for travel. You end up breathing nice, moist air, uh, warm, moist air uh, with each breath and extend your bottom time. The price on this unit retail is 3,400 Canadian. Okay, so it's a very inexpensive unit also. So that's our advantages to our gem rebreather. Okay, this is a KISS Explorer rebreather. Okay, it is a, uh, more of a technical unit. It is a fully closed circuit rebreather. With this unit, we have our scrubber in the back. This contains a softener line, which is again, the material that takes the carbon dioxide out of the breath, out of uh, your breath. Uh, we have oxygen in this tank, and on this side we have what we call a diluent, it's usually air. Okay, in this rebreather, the, the way it operates, we have this similar hoses that control our gas flow. On the exhale, your gas comes through this hose, your breath comes through this hose, through the scrubber to take, to, to take out the carbon dioxide. Oxygen is also added at that point, and then we rebreathe the, the gas on the inhale side. Okay, as a fully closed circuit rebreather, there are no bubbles at all, so we have to have a monitor to tell us what our that our unit is working properly. Right now, we do not have the actual sensors in here, but there are normally three sensors. Because the sensors aren't installed, you can see three blinking red lights. That's a bad thing that there's you know, nothing in there working, or it's not working properly. Normally, they would be green, telling you that everything was uh, working fu uh, functioning properly. Uh, this unit also has a heads-up display right in front of your, your mouthpiece, so it's always telling you what, uh, what is happening within the unit. It's always giving you a status so that everything is okay. The control of the unit also has uh, in the mouthpiece what we call a bailout valve. In this position, we would actually be breathing open circuit gas. When we turn the valve this way, 
we're getting, we're breathing off of our loop and we're working with a breather, there would no, be no bubbles coming out of the system. Okay, these types of units are obviously a lot more technical, uh, require a lot more um, uh, attention from the diver, uh, so it, but they also have greater capability. You can go deeper with these, stay longer, uh, and use very little gas. That's enough gas to last for about nine hours. So these units will last much longer underwater if you're doing longer dives. Uh, the, the KISS Classic or KISS Explorer, uh, it is, a, like I said before, is a more technical unit so that it has more capability. It's obviously a larger unit. Traveling with this type of unit is a little more difficult. You really have to take it apart in order to get it into any kind of a, a travel case. Some people will put it into a hardened case. Obviously, it's uh, more expensive also, so you, they want it protected. Uh, I am able to actually get it into a carry-on case and have, have traveled around the world with it. Um, they are, because of their capabilities, uh, you can go down to up 250 feet with these. So if you want to do uh, dives off of New Jersey, like the, the 869, uh, uh, go out to even the Andrea Doria, you can do those types of dives with this unit. And I have done those dives with this unit. Uh, the bailout valve, as I was talking before, is, is a, a very important safety feature that is uh, available in all of our units. Uh, actually, it's it, it, part of all of our units. Okay. And uh, some other points here, we also have oxygen addition. If you need more oxygen at any point, you can regulate your oxygen uh, in the loop and um, to maintain whatever partial pressure of oxygen you want for that particular dive. Uh, the unit, as we said, is filled with softener line. That's generally available around the world. So if you do travel with the unit, uh, you can get that. If I, for example, go to uh, Bon Air, I just call ahead, tell them I'm going to need the softener line, and it's available at the hotel when I get there. Some places don't, uh, have, it's more difficult to get oxygen. Um, so you need to make sure that you can get oxygen at your destination. If you can't, then something like the GEM might be a better unit to take on that particular type of trip. Okay. Uh, Great unit, very rugged, easy to maintain, uh, user maintainable, and uh, fun to dive. And KISS stands for Keep It Simple and Streamlined.